Sensuality, innovation and avant-garde design are blended together in this much improved DS5, a model showcasing everything this fresh-thinking French maker wants to deliver in the German brand-dominated compact executive market segment. Bringing together elements of everything modern family motorists seem to like, crossover, coupe, family hatchback and sports estate, it's an intriguing package that really does seem to offer something just that little bit different if you're about to opt for just another Mondeo-sized medium-range model or perhaps a Teutonic compact executive saloon. On the move, this improved DS5 is a huge improvement on the original Citroen badge version of this car, primarily because the ride quality has been transformed. Now this is thanks to the installation of shock absorbers fitted with what the DS people call PLV or preloaded linear valve technology which limits sudden changes in damping force. As a result this enhanced model soaks up bumps and dips in the road far more effectively and over poor surfaces you don't feel the vibrations and impacts that were all too evident before. Under the bonnet there have also been changes, with latest generation Blue HDI diesel technology now available. There's a 120 brake horsepower 1.6 litre unit, plus a couple of 2 litre power plants offering either 150 brake horsepower or 180 brake horsepower if you want the car with automatic transmission. Buyers also get a couple of 1.6 litre THP turbo petrol models with either 165 brake horsepower or 210 brake horsepower. And there's a clever hybrid 4x4 200 variant at the top of the range that makes diesel and electric power for impressive efficiency. Back in 1955, when the original DS was launched, those two letters were a play on the French word DS or goddess. They designated automotive beauty, again delivered here in a form that Citroën describes as moving sculpture. That balance between fluidity and tension, compactness and space, efficiency, boldness and elegance. It's all there in striking harmony across a beautifully styled design that seems to change shape depending upon the angle from which you approach it. The differences with this improved model mainly lie at the front, where the vertical grille now proudly incorporates the DS Wings brand logo and extends smoothly into headlights that now feature LED Xenon technology on plush variants like this one. The key styling feature, though, as before, is this slender chromed sabre that rises from the tip of the headlamp to the front quarter light window, below which a similarly angled crease takes up the theme. And the statement's equally unique at the rear, with its wide track, potent rear diffuser and glinting twin oval-shaped quadrilateral tailpipes. Time to take a seat in the front. The raised ride height makes it very easy to get in. And once you do, you find an interior that's even more avant-garde than the bodywork. It's based around what the brand calls a cockpit driving position, where the main controls are grouped on two centrally positioned consoles, one at a low level near the gear selector and one overhead. Both incorporate specially designed buttons, dials and toggle switches that the DS designers say were inspired by the aerospace industry. Everything is based around the concept of what the DS brand calls radical luxury, and it's certainly very different to the commonplace conventional cabins you'll find on most other cars in this price bracket. This improved DS5 model has made huge steps forward when it comes to efficiency, or at least the volume diesel models have. These all now feature start-stop engine systems and the PSA Group's latest Euro 6 Blue HDI technology, with the result being a set of efficiency figures improved by around 10%, enough to put this car right back on track against the best of its rivals. Take the entry-level Blue HDI 120 variant, which manages 70.6 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and 104 grams per kilometre of CO2. Many buyers, though, will want to take a step further up the range into the Blue HDI 150 model that we're trying here. In this case, the returns are much the same, 68.9 miles per gallon on the combined cycle and 105 grams per kilometre of CO2. Here's a car that surprised us. 
But at first glance, this revised DS5 seems very little different to the original Citroen badged version. Get to know it though, and a much better product is revealed. Equipped with properly up-to-date engines and most significantly, a far better standard of ride. Certainly, it isn't perfect. Handling, efficiency and some aspects of build quality still aren't quite a match for the class leaders. But then there's something rather soulless and clinical about perfection. The DS brand is about a different spirit, another way that's very sleek, very smart and very French.